things that we're doing. We have uh, the uh, Professor Ozer's surf uh, competition advances to stage two. So that's quite an achievement and we wish her luck uh, bringing it home in the next phase. Next slide. Um, as well as Professor Chamorro, who collaborated with Felice Gordon for architecture uh, in the uh, Biennale just, uh, that just took place here in Miami. And finally, I wanted to remind you that there's about $120,000 in scholarships, which I've emailed and I uh, want you to log in. Uh, you cannot win these scholarships unless you apply. And the deadline is coming up. These are sponsored by LAF. And I think we have some very worthy candidates. You just need to start soon because uh, they require recommendations, et cetera. So please um, take a look at that and we'd be more than happy to help you. And best of luck to everybody this semester. Looking forward to working with you and uh, seeing some amazing things in the spring. And I'll turn it over back to Mr. Jason Chandler, Chair of Architecture. Hello. Um, next slide, please. And we are um, live on YouTube now, just so that everyone knows. Please let your uh, colleagues know that we can. Yes, we're live I, on feel YouTube. I see you, so I think you're right. Um, okay, I have I have just a, a, a few announcements. Some of them quite quite I'm large. Sorry, could you, I'm sorry. Could you post that that link on the U, on the YouTube link in the chat? Did someone? Did you yes. do that, Charlotte? I'll do that right now. Okay, ready. I have big announcements. The first one is this one, uh, which which is sort of bureaucratic and wordy, but actually quite 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 important. Can't underscore it enough. Um, the, the Master of Architecture has a new federal CIP code. Uh, what does that mean? Mostly, it means a number of things, but the most important thing for our international students, this new federal CIP, STEM CIP code designation provides international students on an F1 visa who are studying in STEM areas of study, now our Master of Architecture, can now potentially stay and legally work in the United States for three years following graduation. So I, I, again, I would expect this to be <laughs> a big point for everyone, um, but uh, uh, it is very, very big. This alignment means a lot of things. Um, we have always been a STEM degree, uh, but we were STEM just in terms of the, the state of Florida. Um, so this shift is consistent with our, our, our research and our curriculum. Um, so we are a, a science and well, I guess it's science, um, technologies, engineering, mathematics uh, code. Um, this is also important as it relates to our funding opportunities. Being a stent federal said grants aligns us with the biggest of, of the, the grants, which are federally funded grants. So we're very happy there. So I'm getting all kinds of what? <laughs> so I'm happy. Yes, yeah, so it's sinking in. So please. Um, if you have questions, um, you can uh, reach out to me. I am not entirely uh, well versed with uh, international uh, visa issues, but this is big news. So normally, uh, the, the F1 uh, students would only have a year of, I believe it's occupational, it's OTP, temporary occupational uh, work, practical work uh, after graduation. So this this is, yes, it is amazing. So you guys are hearing me. So. Um, uh, this I will I'll call out the faculty in particular Marilise Nepomeci. We've been working on this for I'm going to say about three years. So it's been a long time in coming, and we're very pleased to say that we can announce it. So those of you who are graduating this year, uh, you you have this. So good news. Next slide, please. Um, the Doctor of Design, which is actually we have a couple of our our our, our students here today. Uh, admitted its first cohorts days ago. <laughs> and um, I'd like to have Neil Leach speak on this very important milestone for our department. Neil. Uh, 
Hi, can you hear me, Jason? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit crazy. I only just got into this uh, into this Zoom, Zoom link. I was outside for some time, and uh, I, w I was up until four in the morning delivering my manuscript, so I'm a little bit unprepared. But I would say this is a, a really a, a very significant moment for the school. Um, I was talking about how this would catapult us ahead of Harvard in terms of the best DDES in the pro in the, the in the world, actually, and no one believed me. But I think we've got such an incredible cohort of students coming in. Uh, we're talking here about uh, professors who teach at, at SciArc, professors who teach um, at, uh, at UCL Barton at the top school of architecture in the world. We've got talking about um, uh, people who write software for, um, if you're doing classes with Thomas Spiegelhalter, uh, really, really impressive people. The, one of the persons who is the CEO of, um, uh, the, one of the two leading uh, AI firms in the world, um, and, uh, and so on. And also a fantastic colleague from Argentina, Marina. Um, and we're having these very, very curious things, but we're meeting up and we're having a class with students in China and Australia and literally all over the world. Uh, and uh, it's an astonishing thing to happen. Um, the best thing about it, I think, is the fact that we're able to bring, um, well, not only is it going to help you to promote uh, uh, FIU, but we'd be able to bring some of these incredibly talented people into, uh, in, into help in some way. It's going to be um, unbelievable in terms of developing um, FIU. And uh, it, I think we were, we were overtaking Harvard. So this is something quite exceptional, something very special. I just want to thank. Jason and, and the Dean and, 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 and all the team who are supporting it and also those who have kind of contributed towards it. Um, it's been a marathon effort um, and uh, um, it's spectacular. It's spectacular. So, so I think there's something, something good has come out of this, uh, this, this uh, difficult time we're in. It's uh, amazing. It's amazing. Anyway, I, I will say no more, Jason, but um, I'm hoping that, that we'll be able to uh, live stream some of the classes um, that we have so that everyone else can, can enjoy these things. Um, the level of discussion we're going to get there is going to be stunning. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good news all around. Yes, thank you, Jason. And, and thank you, Neil. And, and don't go anywhere. Next slide, please. Yeah, OK. Do you want me to say something about this? Yes, if you want to make a quick pitch. <laughs> yes, okay, yes, sorry, okay. Well, digital futures is something that Biana and I, um, we launched in the summer. Um, I think I mentioned it last semester, but I just go on to mention a bit more because uh, it's now matured into some kind of platform. Um, in the summer, we, we had 12,000 applicants applying for 80 workshops from all over the world. It was an incredible thing. It was a free global online thing. And we decided, well, we've got the platform. Why don't we keep going? So. Um, Every Saturday, uh, nine o'clock in the morning, uh, EST, we are broadcasting a panel discussion um, with some of the world's leading experts. And some of the issues are, are incredibly interesting. This last Saturday, we literally zoomed into the Amazon. We had a session on Brazil and the Amazonian rainforest that was uh, astonishingly interesting. And we're putting all these um, these uh, these, these uh, 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 recordings of our videos of our sessions up on YouTube on the Digital Futures link, um, and I would encourage you to 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 come and watch. It, it's it's for free, um, and uh, and it's available afterwards, um, and it's an incredible resource. So um, uh, this is something also very exciting. Um, uh, so. Uh, Thanks to 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 Biana in particular. This has all been done. The whole team that puts it together is do, is doing it for free, and it's available for free. I think it's an incredible um, act of kind of spontaneous solidarity um, in difficult times. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jason. Certainly is. Thank you, Neil. Next slide. Um, the faculty. Um, I. The faculty is busy, um, and I just wanted to call up a, a few faculty accomplishments that are recent. Neil, who just. Uh, completed, as he said, his manuscript, Architecture in the Age of AI, which I guess we'll be seeing hopefully in not too distant future. So congratulations, okay. Neil. Okay. Um, uh, David Rifkind um, secured a, a grant. Some of you will, have be, will be taking his elective where you'll be looking at public urban spaces in Miami and in Paris. Uh, and he will be joined by a faculty member in Paris. So a, an international Zooming class uh, as we are doing now. Um, Nick Jelpe, I will call him out and congratulate him for being a finalist uh, in the Swiss Architecture 2020, uh, finalist of the Swiss Architecture Award 2020. So congratulations to him. And the last one I would say um, uh, is, 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 is rather extraordinary for, for the faculty. Um, if I told you one of our faculty was having an exhibit at the Venice Biennale 
that would be an accomplishment. If I were to tell you two uh, faculty were going to have an exhibit at the Venice Biennale, that would be even more impressive. But if I told you three, which is actually the case, three of our faculty are going to be exhibited at the Venice Biennale this year, this is really an extraordinary accomplishment. Um, and I'm very pleased to say that Thomas Spiegelhauser will be exhibited in the Italian pavilion, uh, exhibiting his crunch work. Um, Eric Goldenberg will also be in the, the uh, Italian pavilion and also I believe is a curator in addition to exhibiting his work, uh, feedback, and then last but not least, Elisa Silva it will be in the, at the arsenal with her work on informal settlements. This is really extraordinary. Um, one of the, if not most prestigious uh, venues for architectural exhibitions uh, and to have, I don't know, a gaggle of faculty. I don't know what that counts. Pick your way to say more than one uh, to be there is really an extraordinary thing. Um, you will be hearing more and more about this uh, as the, the time goes on, but uh, um, oh, and, and, and that's right, uh, Neil is reminding me that he is also included in Eric's uh, exhibition, so congratulations for that. Next slide. Um, our faculty is also joined by extraordinary practitioners here, um, which is actually expanded. We have a couple of faculty that are from the doctorate program that will be joining us this semester. Um, so it rounds out with slightly over 40, 42, 43, 44, 45 faculty that are engaged in and teaching here, but also uh, doing extraordinary things in, in the profession. So it is, uh, I guess it's sort of very many levels, a proud moment for us. And I, I, I do think this is, th these are shared accomplishments. Um, I think we are all FIU. Um, and when, when any part of FIU is doing well, we should all celebrate that. So congratulations to my colleagues. Next slide, please. Thanks. I want to yes. add something a little bit, something sure. interesting. That, um, we always celebrate our alumni Mm -hmm. and, um, and there is an alumni who's collaborating with me in the um, in the presentation of this uh, group exhibition called Feedback at the Biennale. And his name is Andrew Santa Lucia. He's ah. very well known to us. Mm -hmm. so I thought I'd share that nice news. No, all, all fantastic. Um, I'll just go through these quickly. This is these are our lower division faculty. Next slide. This is the upper division faculty. Um, uh, which you will all be meeting, um, so I won't dwell on this. Next slide, please. Um, our master projects seminar and studio options, um, which have these little quirky things afterwards. I don't quite get that, but at any rate, we have seven of them um, covering an expansive uh, of, of research options. Uh, so for those who are not yet into the master project, something to look forward to. Our super jury, which is our year, end of the year uh, kickoff or Celebration, celebration will be Friday, April 16th, um, an all day event, but the jury will be the, uh, the final one. So for, for all of those uh, students that are not in those studios, um, you will be able to join those. Um, and we've had several hundred people involved in that last, uh, last spring. So I'm looking forward to that um, uh, this spring. Next slide, please. Um, Biana, are you here? Do you wanna say a word about our lecture series? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Hi, thank you. Uh, so our uh, lecture series this year has been uh, very much student driven and it was a process that started uh, from a past uh, summer where uh, the chair of the department uh, facilitated a conversation between us and our student body. And uh, the, so uh, the result of that was um, two lectures that we held uh, last uh, semester and we're taking advantage of the Zoom format and the remote meeting format and we are thinking about uh, this year uh, this year's sessions as more of a panel conversation. So uh, we are uh, kicking off our uh, first uh, event of the semester by um, inviting back one of our alumni, uh, Robert uh, Colon, who's going to actually moderate the session and um, the session focuses on designing for collective well-being. So we're going to talk about concepts of um, sustainability and uh, um, urban uh, and uh, architectural health uh, uh, in a very interesting way. And then uh, the session after that will uh, focus on uh, the activist uh, architects. And here we're using the term architect uh, loosely as 
Um, here, this is an effort uh, put together by the School of Architecture, uh, which is the Department of Architecture, uh, Interior Architecture, as well as Landscape Architecture. So we're very, very excited that we were able to, um, with our students, put these panels together. Thank you. Thank you, Bianca. Next slide. Uh, Eric, do you want to introduce the AA school? Yes, thank you very much. Um, I, I'm glad to say that um, this program is coming back to us, unfortunately for COVID and other reasons it was canceled before, but it's been running, um, uh, you know, um, at FIU. It's a program that, it's a global program that belongs to the Architectural Association in London. This is a very prestigious school, of course, at least half of Zaha Hadid's office people come from that institution and amazing professors and professionals uh, came out of that institution, including Zaha Hadid. Um, so it's a great, it's a school that has uh, visiting programs. So in all, our, all the cities around the world that are where there's people developing ideas that they're interested in. And we are working um, this time. We have done it before twice at Embas and we'll be working again soon on a project related to the Reefline project. It's a project that you may have seen in the Miami Herald and many other media and design boom and many other media. It's a project that's going to create a coral reef, artificial coral reef. Um, underwater galleries, basically an infrastructural piece. And we are collaborating on the Reefline project with OMA, with OMA, with Rem Kool has his office through his partners. And um, the people that are engaged in signing to this visiting school, Miami AA, will be um, collaborating with them and also will be part of the Venice Biennial, the Venice Biennale uh, exhibitions. Uh, the spaces that I'm creating at. So it's going to be a very interesting program. There'll be more announcements about it soon. And I hope that some people from FIU join because this is the opportunity for you to collaborate with lots of students from around the world that join this program. So it's like bringing the world to you. And uh, thank you. That's all I wanted to say. Awesome. Thank you, Eric. Next slide, please. Um, study abroad. We are, of course, being very attentive to the world right now. Um, but we are hopeful and we are going to plan a, a, our study abroad accordingly. Um, so please stay tuned. The idea right now, the, the, the plan is to have a study abroad program which would travel at the end of the summer, which would place us in the last week of July and the first week of August. And we are hopeful. And again, I'm internally hopeful that uh, we will have a world that will allow us to do this. Uh, but this is our hope. And again, while a lot of things are out of our control, we are going to try to, if it is permissible, to have study abroad uh, as soon as we can, because it is, I think we can all argue. Um, I have to say, Charlotte's been accidentally putting in pictures of the Eiffel Tower, which makes me think of traveling, <laughs> maybe it's subliminal um, from her desktop, but uh, I'm sure all of you um, want to go out and see the world again, um, and we are uh, craving that, so again, Stay tuned. We're working very hard to, to do that. Um, someone's asking about Genoa. Same thing. You know, we, we're hoping again for the fall to have Genoa. Um, we're also thinking for the following spring to have Milan. You know, we, we want this as you want this. Um, but again, we have to work with uh, the, the situations that we have right now. But uh, again, I remain hopeful um, and, and, and I'd like to see this happen as I'm sure you all as soon as possible. Again, safety is the, the most important concern as the Dean said. Uh, so we have to be mindful of that, but we will obviously only do what we are allowed for the regulations of the government and, and all the other requirements. Next slide, please. Um, we, we are over 6,000 Instagram followers, not that I'm counting, um, but please, if you have not uh, joined Instagram, please join us. It is the venue for us to celebrate and ex, you know, send out all the good work that the, the, the department works is doing. So if you aren't tuned in, please do so. Next slide. And just to wrap up, uh, we, these, and I think Newton and both Roberto said this and I know they share the sentiment. We are living in extraordinary times. Um, I would say we have to be attentive to all that is going around us. Um, but nonetheless, the work of architects could not be more poignant or needed at this point. So with that, I know there's a couple of meetings 
Interior Architecture has their Zoom meeting. Um, Roberto, does Landscape have a Zoom meeting? No. No, and then Design 6, my group, we have a Zoom meeting afterwards. So I wish everyone a productive and safe semester. Welcome. Have a great semester, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the uh, thesis, Canaveral's class has a follow-up meeting, so join us in Zoom. In Landscape D4 at 4.30, but that's just D4. See you then. Okay, so now we... Mm -hmm.